online in digital health scene speaking. Hi doctor. Yeah, which practice are you calling from? GP will contact us with a patient who's presenting with a problem. If it's a patient that can be treated the same day and returned home, Digital Health will direct this patient away from A&E to SDEC, which is our same day emergency care unit here at the hospital. The patient will arrive, be treated and returned home, therefore you know, avoiding the accident emergency department and potentially an unnecessary admission to the hospital. Another area is video conferencing, where where we assess a patient live over the internet. That might be with one of our nursing homes, our residential homes, or with the wardens from Thameside Metropolitan Borough Council. We undertake a face-to-face -face assessment over the internet with access to the GP records here at the Trust. That allows us to build a plan of care for that patient, therefore wrapping care around that patient in a timely manner by the right provider of care. And that provider of care may be the integrated assessment team, it may be the extensivist, it may be the district nursing service, or the GP themselves. We do have access to the out of our G out of hours GPs, which again allows timely intervention for that patient. Therefore, hopefully avoiding an accident in the emergency department. Could you allocate me job number one 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 three three three, please? Yeah. Call signs GUM16. Lovely. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. This is the C3 stack, which allows me to identify categories 3 and 4, um, therefore allowing us to look at what the patient's for 999 for and intercept as appropriate, depending on the condition that they're presenting with. Mike? Yes. Can you go and have a look at this job for me, please? Um, I've just taken it off the C3 stack. Um, the lady's on the floor, she needs top to toe assessment, querying a fractured neck of femur. Okay. Um, it might not be, but you're going to need the lifting equipment to get her up. Right. Uh, there are carers on scene with her, so we want to have a look at Yeah, perfect, no Thanks. problem, thank you. So as you can see, this is Mike. Mike's our paramedic assessor. He's now un undertaken a call for us um, where he'll attend the patient at the scene. The ambulance isn't cancelled, it is just on hold at this moment. Michael will arrive at the scene, he'll undertake a top to toe assessment and come up with a plan of care. And again, as I've mentioned, it may be that we send a community provider out to that patient to undertake their own assessment, i.e. a physiotherapist from the integrated urgent community care team because this patient has fallen. Or it may be that we actually do need the GP to go and review. Again, avoiding the patient coming into our accident and emergency department. At that point, once we've decided what care we're going to come up with for this patient, we then ring Northwest Ambulance Service back and cancel the ambulance. Hi, best speaking. Yes. Hi. So it may be that we ring the Integrated Urgent Community Care Team, and this team has a multi disciplinary team in there physiotherapist, occupational therapist, qualified nurses, band fours. Um, what we can do is we can ask them, depending on what we've assessed, and you know, so for example, a skin tear, we can ask the team to go out, glue the patient, um, provide some follow up care for them, put a package of care in place, liaise with social workers. So again, we can build a package of care around that patient using this team. Hi, Michaela. Can you go and see this patient? They've had a own witness fall. Um, digital health will just handed it over. Yeah, no problem. I'll have a look now. So this system allows me to identify the deteriorating patient. As you can see, I can open the statistics of the patient, look at the past recordings and identify any patterns or theme, then escalate to the appropriate care provider, whether that be the GP, the extensivist nurse, or whether or not they actually need an admission to the hospital under the medical team. Hi, so we also have virtual ward. Virtual ward is where we monitor our patients out in community. So for example, if a patient's had a fall and potentially bang the head we can monitor them for the next few hours so we add the patient and all the demographics and the presenting problem to the virtual ward environment and the home are contacted or the patients next of kin regular at set times throughout the day and those patients then um, are contacted we do a set of observations we repeat again four hours after and once we feel that they're safe they can be discharged off the virtual ward this allows us to monitor patients that are coming in late and overnight with follow-up um, worsening advice to be given.
Docker bowl service was set up uh, initially for patients who have COPD, heart failure, uh, who live in community, who need monitoring. So their results, um, they'll do basic set of observations in the morning and they will come through to um, one of the nurses, paramedics within the team. We will look at their readings and then contact the patient if need be to ask how they are and if there's any support that we can give them. We also help um, support patients that have been discharged from hospital who may have had um, numerous hospital admissions just to give them lots of support and advice and reassurance um, when being discharged from hospital. So following on from Docabore, once a patient's been on the system for 12 weeks, the aim is to review the patient by appropriate care provider. Now that could be one of the nurses here at Digital Health or via one of the nurses in extensive care or even the GP. The patient then will be stepped down onto our Telehealth Plus service. Telehealth Plus is run by both Digital Health and Thameside Metropolitan Borough Council Community Response Service. These patients, we tailor meet the needs of them. So they can have some equipment in the home, but they're called three times a week rather than relying on an electronic system. It gives a bit more of a personal touch and we wrap care again around that patient. If the patient starts to present unwell with the long-term condition and we're having multiple interventions, we can step them back up onto the original docker ball system and then keep monitoring them for a further 12 weeks and then step them back down as appropriate. What this does is allows us a greater expanse um, to manage uh, the population of Thameside and Glossop. The overall savings that are to our patients here at Thameside, right care, right provider, right place, but savings also to the trust of bed days. So as from the end of October, we'll be taking the 111 first service here at Digital Health. This will allow us to assess all the patients that would normally go through 111 from the ages of two right up through adulthood. Hopefully then we'll be able to streamline these patients into an appropriate community provider within Thameside and Glossop.